Hello and welcome to Budget Model Railways with me again making a video for a change. If you've followed our channel for a while you will know that we've been 3D printing for a very long time but we've never actually made a video about 3D printing. Well that's about to change because recently Creality, who we have always used for our printers, reached out to us and said could they send us one of their new Creality Hallet One Plus resin printers and of course I said yes. Now while we were sent this print up free of charge for review we've not been paid to say anything so all opinions throughout this video are my own i hope you enjoy the video and let's get started with how to set this printer up so the first thing you need to do before you can use the printer is to level the bed which can be done by loosening off these four screws so that the bed is nice and loose on its mount from there you can go onto the home page and click settings print settings z-axis movement and then press the leveling button and that will send your bed all the way up to the top which is classed as the home point and then it will bring it all the way back down into the resin tray and when it goes into the resin tray as you can see because the screws are loose it pushes the mount into the bed and levels it off onto the bottom of the tray and you can then tighten up all four screws again and then your bed is nice and level ready for printing so to pour the resin in we're going to hit the back to zero button which is going to send the bed back up to the top and give us some room to work with. And then the resin that we're going to be using today is this Creality 3D UV curable resin. It's just their standard white resin and it comes in a nice metal container as well to keep the light out. And the lid has probably the hardest to get out plastic stopper ever which I had to use a screwdriver and pull with all my might to get it out but it does have a nice satisfying sound when it does that. And you can then pour that into the resin tray. Now I recommend pouring up to the 250 milliliter line at least, no matter how small your print is, just so there is a nice bath of resin for your print to absorb from. And then you stick a USB into the port, go on to print, tap the file you want to import, and it is really that easy. And then you can press OK, and it's the one with the green folder icon. You choose to be file parameters or printer parameters, and you choose file parameters here. And then from there, you can go into the settings, change any of the settings you want to, your layer heights, your exposure times, but ideally you'd have that tuned on the profile anyway. And then once you're ready, you can hit print, and your print will start. So compared to a traditional FDM style 3D printer that draws in a solid plastic filament and melts it, I like to think of resin printers a little bit more scientifically, as they use a photosensitive resin as the building material, and then they have a high resolution display screen underneath that shines up ultraviolet light onto the print bed, and where the ultraviolet light shines cures the print. So the way it works is by dunking the bed down into the resin, the light shines and cures your first layer, and the bed then rises to allow new resin to flow in, and it drops back down again to a tiny fraction, in this case it's 0.04 millimeters higher than it was before, to cure in the next layer of resin. So it's a lot more detailed than an FDM machine that can usually get to only around 0.1 millimeters, and it'll do this process for about 600 layers of this print. Now the Creality Hallet One Plus is also great because it has this inbuilt carbon air filter which when you put the lid on top means that it filters out any fumes from the resin to make sure that the room doesn't start smelling. I think I would compare the smell of it to PVA glue so it's really not too bad. And then like everything these days the printer connects to Wi-Fi and has its own app called Creality Cloud. We can go over to devices and see our printer there and we've called it Prometheus. Everything in the electronics lab has a crazy name. And it's really good because you can see your progress bar at the moment 0.5% and also how long is left. And you can also have a look at the settings. You can't change them from the app which I find a little bit annoying. But other than that it's really good. You can see how much time is left. Also if you plug the Creality camera into the port you can view a live view of the print which is a really nice feature to have. And very similarly, the display screen of the printer shows you how long is left and it also shows you what layer it's on out of how many layers it's got left to do. And unlike the app, you can actually change a few of the print settings mid-print directly from the printer. 
So earlier you might have heard me mention that the printer is now inside an electronics lab. So for those of you that don't know, I'm now at the University of Surrey studying aerospace engineering, and I've joined a society called the Electronics and Amateur Radio Society, which is a really great lab full of all sorts of electronics equipment, including a new Creality Ender 3 S1 Pro. So it's going to be a great place to carry on making all sorts of projects while I'm at university. So to compare the noise, this is my Ender 3 V2, which I've modified with silent fans and all sorts of other things to try and keep the noise down, and it's averaging at around 55-56 decibels, and compared to the Hallett 1 Plus, we're getting around 45 decibels, so it's about 10 decibels quieter than your average 3D printer. And after all that talking, the print is now done, and it's going to raise the bed back up to the home point so we can get the first view of our finished part. So here I'm just using the edge of a knife blade really carefully to pry the part off of the bed. The printer does come with a small plastic spatula thing but it's too blunt, it does not get the prints off. All I managed to do was warp one of my first prints. So then after you've taken it off, you're going to put it in the basket here for the washing machine and we're going to give it a quick spin in that. So the difference of this again compared to FDM is that with resin you have to use some form of washing and then curing process afterwards. So this is the Creality UW01 also provided to us by Creality. And depending on what resin you're using, you'll either use isopropyl alcohol or simply just water to wash your parts. So I found the best thing to do is to wash them for as long as you possibly can. So roughly around 20 minutes is what I found is the good mark. So on this particular machine, you set it to wash mode and then speed quick. Very nice. Sounds like a hyper electric car as the blade starts spinning up to swirl the water. And then set the time for 20 minutes and then we can just press go. And the machine will wash the parts for us completely automatically. And then when the washing process is finished, we're going to take the part out, swap the washing container for the silver plate to help reflect the light around and set the washing and curing machine to cure mode and put the speed to slow this time and I found 10 minutes is the optimal time for this specific resin and then we're going to go again and what this does is it spins the part and it blasts it with more ultraviolet light like the printing process but a lot more powerfully which means that it solidifies the print to make it nice and solid but if you do cure it for too long it will make them brittle and that is the entire printing process complete and as I will show you in a minute with some more close-ups, the quality that this printer produces is absolutely insane. It is on a whole another level of FDM printing. It is significantly better than anything we've seen before, and it is definitely a future step in 3D printing technology. And some still photos of the finished prints, and you can see that the quality is truly incredible. The sides are completely smooth, and in the windows, there's no loose filament seeping down. It's all neat and tidy. And the roof, there's very few layer lines. You still get a few, but nowhere near as many as you would with FDM. And the figure here is so small, the camera couldn't really pick up the detail. But in person, it looks injection molded. It looks absolutely perfect. So the quality of this Hallett 1 is absolutely incredible. So to sum up the video, I'll just talk about a couple of the things that I like and a couple of things that I dislike about the Creality Hallett 1 Plus. First of all, it has linear rails on the moving axis, which anyone that's into their 3D printers knows that that is the ultimate thing for high precision. It's what I've personally upgraded my Ender 3 version 2 to. So your quality is going to be very nice there. It's got a UK plug with a separate power adapter, which also means if you lost it, you could just put your own in. Unlike the Ender 3s and things which have separate power supplies, which does get a little bit annoying. One thing I don't like is the slicer doesn't have as many options that you can change. So I'm used to sitting there and tweaking hundreds of settings to get my perfect print. But obviously that could be a, a lot more frustrating for someone that is new to 3D printing. So the Creality Hallett 1 Plus is very good for a beginner, in my opinion, simply because you know that you can just use the default settings that it recommends you, press print, and you are going to get a perfect print every single time. So from that standpoint, I would thoroughly recommend this printer to a beginner, as it is a really high quality printer, producing very nice parts for not very much money. 
So I want to say a massive thank you to Creality 3D for sending us the Hallet One Plus Resin 3D printer for review. We personally have used Creality 3D printers since we first ever began 3D printing way back in 2018. So it's almost been five years and we are very impressed with the quality of all of the Creality printers that we've ever had. So if you are looking for a 3D printer, whether it be this specific resin one or another type of machine, I would thoroughly recommend any Creality printers as they have always been very reliable for us.